Hugh, you were, yeah, did you fear that or do you fear that? Getting to a stage where you have a meltdown and then people are going to report on it? Or so. Uh, no. No? I don't think so. I, I think you've been you've been close to getting caught in some precarious situations already. Getting caught in? What yeah. do you mean? Like on the road, you know, partaking in dangerous behavior. What stealing a flag would make? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, yeah, it was twelve years ago. Yes, if you want to count that. <laughs> Dude, I'm the most down. I'm the most boring person on the road. Like I just shows over. More boring than me on the road. You've been on the road with me. I'm probably equal with you now. Now? Like, after the show's over, <laughs> I go right into my room and I'm I'm done. I'm Good done. boy. Yeah, it's over for me. You know, party. Mm-hmm. No meets, no greets. Uh, occasionally, very, very occasionally these days, like, I'll go, but it's got to strike you in the moment, uh, you know, and just be like, oh, but my, my basic MO is just hotel room and just relax and sleep. Which is good. It is good. I had my days. I had my you, days you, of uh, party. It's too much. Like, especially, like, people who come to the shows for us, like, I just don't want to talk about me. And I don't want to talk about the TV show. And that's all people, because they don't know anything about you besides that. Well, that's up to you to let them show the other, the softer side of Q. Oh, we're going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. A four minute conversation. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot you can Tell learn the from other somebody. Jokers. Tell the other jokers, like this show, <clears throat> I'm just going to give a, like a, basically a history. Right. I cannot BQ, tell you. My I'm hopes sorry. and dreams. <laughs> I cannot Nobody tell you how many people come into the store, though. And we'll bring up a conversation they had with Kevin where they saw another side of him yeah. that is so meaningful to them. Yeah, that you are depriving the people who are coming out to see you are paying good money to see you by not giving them that, the, giving them that little insight into the real you yeah. that they would cherish, I that don't. people would cherish. They can listen to Tell Them Steve Dave if they want an insight into the real me. It's too much work. They got to download yeah. it. They so now, find they, it. now it's on them. <laughs> <laughs> I got to fucking hang out and have four minute conversations with four minutes strangers. is too much. Yeah, it is too much. I saw you re- to respond to somebody. Pretty harshly about that. They were just like, and I think it was, you said, did Frank Sinatra do something? Uh, did he go out of his way? You, you compared you, himself to Frank Sinatra <laughs> on Twitter? Did you say something about Frank Sinatra? Oh People <laughs> said. <laughs> Am I right about this? Did you use, uh, use yeah. Frank Sinatra as an example? Somebody said, well, no. I mean, it, trust me, when the facts come out, I think you'll find I compare myself to Frank Sinatra. All right. All right. Frank Sinatra so, Stein. Paint the picture here. So, what did someone tweet to you? Somebody put um they were like why didn't you watch that video i sent you a link and i was like what are you talking about i was like what the fuck are you talking about someone made like, a video in your honor and you couldn't be bothered to no, watch it they, like they, the they best of q clips they, 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 sent a YouTube link. they sent the youtube link of a fucking cat on a treadmill <laughs> And I didn't see it. It wasn't like I saw it. You think Frank time to watch no. a fucking cat on a fucking treadmill? And That's my like, question to you. And they were like, well, they were like, well, I remember when entertain. I remember a time when entertainers, when entertainers, like, uh, appreciated, appreciated their fans. Cats on treadmills. <laughs> And I was like, I was like, yeah, I guess I remember that. And I remember when fucking Frank Sinatra spent days on Twitter, like talking about bullshit. I didn't consider, I didn't compare myself to Sinatra. <laughs> uh, they get, they but get. there's expectations. You have to. I mean, you wanted this lifestyle. You wanted it. Right. Now you got to you got to step up and take the responsibility of watching all the bullshit uh, people send you. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> at all. I'm not beholden to everybody's fucking whim. Not at all. But you're but you gotta remember you're not you're not Brian Quinn to them. You're right. Q from your Q and Practical Joker, man. You're zany, okay. you're friendly, you're you you want zany. you want they like, people think of you as their friend. That's okay. You're you're their T V friend. Yeah, but if they think <laughs> T V friend is fine, but if somebody thinks that they're my friends because they watch the show, they're unbalanced. Really? And about all the people that I cannot tell you also about all the people who come right in Oh my God! Letters that people have given me sealed in the store. They were embarrassed. To ha- they please don't read it while I'm here. Okay. About the podcast. Yes. How they have they have their friends have fallen to the wayside. You know they're at a point in their life where they're so busy with their family or work that they don't have time for their friends. Right. And like these pods have become um, like we've become their friends. Okay. 
You're being uh, a bad friend. Keith. Are you, are you gonna go, are you gonna sit here right now and say that that those people aren't are a little bit off in, in that in that mindset? No, I think that they're acting appropriately. They're writing you a letter and being like, "Hey, read this, enjoy it." <laughs> like they're not saying. Did Frank Sinatra read letters? <laughs> this is not- <laughs> I mean, they're, they're not saying. They're not saying. You, you know, you you're fucked because they they come in here and you're here. There's nothing yeah. you can do. There, there's a lot. Of, I, I can't. I can't escape a lot of um, right. FaceTime. Right. There's nowhere I can run to. Unless I say, yeah, you know what? You really need to go subterranean. Like you have to go into the basement <laughs> and hide. But you know what? But I got, and I'll be one hundred percent honest with you. When someone comes in and says they love comic book men, and then they say, "But I love T- TSD more." Yeah, it's nice. That's better. Yeah. To me, that's I, don't I don't know why. I don't know why. Because it's, I mean, Tom Steve Dave is like completely driven by us. It, it is us. It's whatever we want it to be. It always will be whatever we want it to be. And. Comic Men is not whatever you want it to be. It's it's it's. This is three of us. Like Impractical Jokers is fucking a team of people. Notes from. Is it network. corporate? Can you say right here? Is Impractical Jokers corporate at this point? Have you sold out? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Well, that I can't say. That's easy. 